have Peyton on the phone with us right now. I mean, just fresh off of trying to get it all in for the scouts up at the Combine. Uh, this is an Auburn running back, finished, his, finished the season with 1,071 rushing yards, 13 touchdowns, um, won an SEC championship in 2013, originally committed to the University of Mississippi and changed his mind and became a Tiger and should have lost to my Jacksonville State Gamecocks this year. But I'm going to say welcome into the show anyway, Peyton. How you doing? Good, good. How about yourself? <laughs> I, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And, and again, I'm, I'm not really. I'm, I'm not going to try to throw you under the bus too much. But you know, you guys should have lost to Jacksonville State. <laughs> it's, it's okay to admit it. I mean, it's just national television. No, I don't. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to admit to that one. Okay, I, 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 well, once we get off the air, before you go, we'll have a talk about it. But, you know, you, you scored on my boys, and we're showing that highlight right now. Um, I, I think someone actually just blew the defense right there and let you walk in a little easy. But that's, that's, a, that's another little story, and we'll talk about that. The story I want to talk about is you, you're saying you, you have to make some changes based on your family situation and having your name called and being able to take that next step. Um, what will that mean to you to, to get into the NFL and be able to do those things? Uh, well, it'll, it'll definitely be a blessing. You know, this is something that I've been been praying for, you know, and dreaming of, you know, basically my my whole entire life, you know, pretty much since I was, you know, four years old. I've, I've wanted to, you know, go to the NFL, and I've always said that I'll be able to do that one day. And, you know, it's, it's crazy to think how, how close it really is. It's right around, yeah, it's right around the corner. You had an opportunity uh, to showcase your skills. You know, that's, that's one of the biggest job interviews you'll ever have there at the Combine. Uh, how do you assess what you did there? Uh, I thought if I did, I did pretty good. Uh, I obviously, you know, would have liked to run a faster 40 time, but I, I feel as if I'll, I'll make that up at my pro day, March 7th. So that's, that's the day I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, you, okay, and, and you said that you, you feel like you'll make that up. Let's get back before before I get into your pro day coming up. The combine. What were your expectations of it, and what what surprised you there? Uh, my expectations. I mean, I I obviously set high high goals for myself. You know, I'm always somebody who strives for the best. But like I said, I feel as if I did I did good with the amount of training that that I had. I only been training for three weeks, and I mean, some of these guys have been training since since Christmas, really December. Really, so I mean, I I was very proud of myself, but at the same time, just like I said, you know, I obviously would have liked to run a faster forty time and had a better bird and everything, but you know, those things those things didn't happen. But you know, I feel as if coming up in the next next week or so, I'll, I'll definitely improve that. Well, you know, the things that you said you had three weeks and, and after making this decision to start preparing for it and prepping for it, and there, and there are certain things physically you can train for, but you can't train for the questions that they're going to ask you when you get into right. these interviews. Uh, what caught you off guard? What was the most surprising thing that you, the craziest thing you were asked? Craziest thing? I don't really think there are too many crazy things, you know. Uh, okay. You know, I guess something that would be crazy, you know, if they were asking me if, if I had ever done any drugs or anything like that. And I know that's common, but that's that's not me. That's that's not something that I that's not something that I do. So. Okay. Well, after now now that you've gone through this process, and you say you want to get things better, what do you, what do you have to do? You, you're going back uh, because again, this is your job interview. For right. you, so when you go back to have your pro day between now, what what did you learn? After assessing yourself at this combine, watching the other guys at your position, seeing what the best of the best had to offer, uh, where, what's your next step? What do you have to fix to get yourself drafted and be able to accomplish these things you want to accomplish for your family? Uh, 40 time. 40 and uh, I want to say 40 and Bert. Um, I feel like everything else, you know, I was I was in the top top categories for everything else as far as shuttles, um, L drill. Um, I feel as if I did pretty good in the in the running back drills as, as well, but um, you know I feel like those 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 two things are categories that I can definitely get better hey. and, and improve in. Man, and you know you come from a, I mean the bloodline is pretty strong for you. I mean you Marion Barber, <laughs> Dominique Barber, um, cousin Jeremy Langford, all of these guys are are in the league. I mean, how much are you going to tap into that source and, and see what they can do to help you get to that next level? 
Uh, well, me and, me and Jeremy are pretty pretty close, but as far as Marion, that's that's just a, a distant a distant uh, cousin. As far as Jeremy, well, you better so call him. <laughs> you better close that distance. <laughs> um, but you know, just like just like I said, you know those. Those are, those are categories uh, that I would love to get better at. Well, uh, Peyton, well, thanks for joining us, Peyton. I, I definitely appreciate you calling in. Best of luck to you and everything that you do. Um, uh, hopefully next year when you guys play Jacksonville State, if they're on the books, you know, if you guys are lucky enough to have us on the books next year, you will take that L that you deserve this year. <laughs> but, you know, every in every other endeavor, get it done, man. Can't, can't wait for all these good things to happen for you. Yes, sir, I appreciate it. All right. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.